This video describes how to create a basic video SOM agenda. Further videos will describe how to add other, more advanced features. Armed with an order of service giving the list of hymns required for the service, the person creating the agenda starts the video SOM application on their home computer. In this video, we will assume that all the required hymns are from the Songs of Fellowship hymn book. If any of the hymns are from Hymns and Psalms hymn book, then a different procedure is necessary, and this is a subject of a different tutorial. Video Psalm opens with an empty agenda. To create a new service agenda, we simply type the Songs of Fellowship hymn number into the search field in the Songbooks area. We check that the title of the hymn found matches the one defined in the order of service. Select the hymn in the songbooks area and press the plus add icon. The selected hymn is then added to the agenda. Repeat the search and select process until all required hymns have been selected and added to the agenda. Next, we need to save the agenda into a file. We click the Save the Agenda icon in the Agenda area of the screen and VideoSOM pops up a form requesting a location to store the file and a name for the new agenda. By default, it provides the location of the last folder we used for VideoSOM agenda files and it suggests the name of the file to be the date for the next Sunday in the calendar. This is everything that is needed to create a basic service agenda. But before we end this video, let's take a quick look at the agenda we have created by selecting the first hymn in the agenda area and the first verse in the slides area and then pressing the down arrow key to view the entire service in the preview area. It is probably a good idea to do this anyway when creating a new agenda, just to check that everything is as expected. Note that the hymns do not have a header or footer and that the transitions between the hymns is just a blank screen, not the candle we are familiar with. We will add these features in a subsequent video tutorial. On completion of the preview, we exit the application and see that the created file is in the requested folder ready for transfer to the church on a memory stick.